I mean, and she acknowledges on the show that that she she has you know has had bad bad work. But I just wonder, like, what doctor does this to people? You know, I mean, you would think. I always think the best. The about one who doctors. accepts money. I guess, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I guess. But there's some doctors, and then there's a, a study that I just read in the paper um, this week that gynecologists are alarmed by this plastic surgery trend of women having plastic surgery on their private parts, and it's become increasingly popular. Like the percentage of people who are doing this has jumped dramatically. Just for the way it looks. It's it's look, and they think it's going to help sensation. But but a lot of but there's a real debate. <laughs> There's a debate within um, among doctors about whether it does, and there's there's some side effects and potential risks as there's with any kind of surgery. Well, here's the thing. I mean, plastic surgery. I, I'm not for or against them. If it's something that you need to do to make you feel better yeah. about yourself, and you can, and you do it uh, in moderation, that's right. fine. But it's becoming the norm in society. Yeah. It's almost becoming the standard of beauty. Well, now and you're, you're also seeing like very young women, young girls, even mm -hmm. teenagers. Who are being kind of pressured to feel like they need to start doing Botox or whatever as like and preparation. They don't, need it. they don't need it at all. It's they ridiculous. They don't need it yeah. when you're in your 20s. Yeah. And, you know, so. Yeah. I've got this huge line. It's really funny. I I've got this too. big line right here that I've had since I was 10 years old because I used to worry a lot as a kid. Mm -hmm. And I would lie in bed at night worried. And my brow would be for, I know, it's kind of sad. I have it too. Um, I bet mine. Yes, exactly. See? But like, I, it must have reached a point now where it's crossed the Rubicon because I now Cross get the line. about a month ago I started getting emails from viewers like, "Did you cut your forehead?" <laughs> and I'm like, "No, it's a wrinkle. That's what wrinkles look like. No one, no one's, no one knows what wrinkles look like anymore, but that's what they look like." But we all know you don't do Botox. Well, not yet. Who knows? It's some someday you never know.